So I was only just uh, doing some strip mining. I thought before the episode, let me just go ahead and get some resources, maybe find some diamonds. And I actually stumbled upon this ravine. So I figured I'd at least share that with you. I'm kind of scared though, because it's really high up. And I've died countless times with creepers just falling down, like falling on top of your head. So let's be very careful, but at least check out if this ravine has anything good for us. And I probably expect to find something because there's some diamonds over there. Yes, let's go. And I actually didn't even see this, but there's also diamonds over here. So there's two diamonds right next to each other. Let's first just get this and make sure they don't fall into the lava. So let's get some water on top of that. So we don't burn it. Perfect, we got it. Uh, is it only one block though? That would be pretty unlucky. Oh no, there's more under there, okay. Let's make sure we don't burn that as well. Wait, no, did we? Oh, Jesus, I got scared there for a minute. Perfect, oh, this is you. Wait, hold up, is there? No way, there's another diamond spawn over there. Three in one place, that's insane. Okay, let's quickly get this. How big is it? Uh, only two. I mean, they're not huge, but still, I can't complain. Maybe this one is though. Let's check it out. That's one, two, three, four, and five. That's nice. Nothing else though? No. But we just got three diamond spawns, which adds up to nine diamonds. And on my way out, I also grabbed some obsidian, so we can actually now start making maybe a nether portal. And also uh, an enchanting table. 14 obsidian should be enough. We can work with this. And while I'm doing some farming, I wanted to quickly tell you guys that I've actually been doing some work on the base while I was not recording. Because I figured if I only work on the videos, uh, it's going to take a long time for us to actually progress. So I just wanted to let you know that I am doing a little bit of work. So maybe every new episode I can show you what I've been doing. For now, I've been making a cool path. The big tree with the ladder is gone and this is like a winding staircase all the way up to the build um, with some lanterns along the way that I think are really cool. So let's make our way up there. I just did some spruce and then some pathway, made it look a little bit natural and I very much like this actually, wait, much better. And then when you get all the way up here, you first have this fireplace that I very much like. And then over here we have this bench you can just sit down on and relax and look at the amazing view we have up here. Pretty cool, right? I have actually also done some work on the base. As you can see, I made some grass, some plants and also a roof above the entrance. There's no roof on the other part of the build yet because we do want to make a second floor. I actually want to work on that today. And then actually if you go inside, I have made just temporarily a bit of a working area and some storage over there. Today I want to be working on the second floor for the build. But first I was thinking maybe I just do a little bit of exploration. I have no idea what's around my house. Maybe there's some very cool stuff to find. So let's go and just check that out. First I need some food and you know, it, it wouldn't be this world if there weren't just many, many, many fishes out here. They don't mind that I take a few. All of these salmons, man. This is a salmon world. So we have a boat, we have some food in the oven and uh, I'm ready for an adventure. I'm excited to know what we will find. You always find things when you go out into the Minecraft world. Okay, let's go. I'm thinking maybe if we're lucky, we just come out to sea and we can find some stuff there, maybe even a village or some stuff like that. Um, because the sea is always like, you have like this coral, you have all of these materials you can use for certain types of builds wait what did we just what there's a village right over here i am like a hundred blocks from my base and there's a village right here is this just the luckiest episode ever we find three diamond spawns and then a village next to our house I will take uh, this, nice, thank you. And I'm actually excited for these crops because you can find stuff like carrots. I, I don't have yet, that's just wheat seeds. I hope they have potatoes here because potatoes are such a good food source. Wait, this is, yes, this is actually potatoes. Oh, I'm so happy with this. We can start growing all of these different crops right now. That's cool, I'm gonna take all of this. Thank you, that's mine now. Oh, this is so perfect. We can actually totally expand our farm back at the base now, nice. I will also take this. I'm just taking all the good stuff from this village. I don't care. Anything good in the blacksmith? 
A chest with some golden iron. I will uh, gladly take that off your hands. Thank you very much. Also some bread. Thank you. And golden horse armor. Ooh, with carrots we can actually start working on having a horse. So that's going to come in handy. Yo, can I just uh, maybe sleep in your bed? You've been sleeping for a while. Thank you. You just go read a book or something. <sighs> okay, I'll be out of your hair now. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, wait. This village has two bells. No one needs two bells. I'll take one for decoration purposes. Thank you very, very much. Let's see what else this village has. I, I have already stolen so much from all these good people. I, I it's I'm a bad person. Oh, we ho. Oh. Yo, you scared me. That's not a villager. This is a bit of karma actually for me. I have to take him down. Do the whole do the old hit and run. Hit and run. One more. Oh, oh no, another, another. And there we go. I think I've actually stolen all of the good stuff from this village now. So let's just go back to the base. It was a shorter adventure than I thought. Look at how close this actually is. I started at the village and now I'm just sailing all the way home. And it's honestly not even a few seconds. This is going to come in so handy when we want to breed villagers later down the line. I could just pop them into a boat and sail them to the base and then start breeding them there. Uh, I'm just lucky. I am so lucky. It took us forever to find our first diamonds. And now that we found those, we are actually on a streak of luck. Look, there's the build. That's how long it takes to get to the village. Oh my God. That is just perfect. I'm not complaining at all. So I've done some work on the farmland over here in the back. Now we also have some space for potatoes and um, some beetroot and also the carrots. Let me just plant all of this in. So the farmland is growing. We've expanded our base. We found more diamonds. Today has been a really good day. But I also definitely want to do some more work on the build. And the first thing we need is a way up to the second floor. And I think in this room, a spiral staircase would look very cool. And this should finish up the spiral staircase. Let's take a quick look at it. Yeah, I like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Now we have to think of what we want to do for the second floor though. And I have a few ideas. So down there with the spiral staircase, I wanted to do some more storage. And then up here, this could be my bedroom with some nice, lovely windows. Also real quick, while I'm building this, I want to just thank everyone who has been saying all these lovely things in the comments, who's been watching videos, who's been liking them. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much for that. So let me quickly strip this down and make it look like the rest of the build. And now I'm going to take a step back from the build while I'm building because it's much easier to change things in the process than to have to redo a finished product. So quickly take a look at this. Yeah, I see where I'm going with this. I like it. I think it looks good. For the windows, I actually wanted to try something I haven't done very often. And that's just make a different shaped window. So I'm out here just doing this weird kind of cross shape instead of just another square window. Uh, I don't know if, if I like it. I'm just going to try it out, see if it works. If it doesn't, we change it. If it does, great. So let's fill these windows out. Wait, oh, sh oh, you can't actually. Oh, you can't place a window pane next to a stair. So this would have to be a full block then. But I still think that that would look pretty good. So let's try that. Yeah, just replace this with a full block. I think that could work. And down here, I've been working on the storage room. I just want to do chests all along the wall. And that will be our starter storage room. And that's going to serve as well for the first few episodes for sure. And up here, these are the windows. Now, while I'm here, let me add in some lights. I don't want to find a zombie in my bed. But I think this looks pretty cool. It's a uniquely shaped window. Now, let me quickly step outside and take a look at this before I end the episode. Yeah, this is going to be a very cool build once we're done. Going to put in a huge roof, make it look funky, make it look crazy. And that is it for today, I think. I see where we're going with this. We found some diamonds. We found a village. Now it's time for me to just sit down right here, enjoy the view, and enjoy all the building that we've done. Thank you for watching.